Hello, I am Dr. Keith Ruther. Welcome to another help video for Build 5. And today we are going to talk about Jupiter Hub and how it is used as the easiest way to upload and keep files that you need to use with our studio in this course. You can see here a copy of my Jupyter Hub, and these are the files and folders that I use right now for the class when I'm working on our studio. You're likely going to have an empty Jupyter Hub, but you will organize it with things relevant for this class. For example, data, like in the form of CSV files or our markdown files that you will get for section activities, your term project, other things that happen throughout the course. So let us zoom in and see how we can go ahead and manipulate files. And the first one that I want to point out is how are you going to upload files? If you look in the upper right hand corner, we have an upload button. If we were to click on it, then that would bring you to your own computer and just go ahead and select the box wherever you have the file that you would like to add. Now, once it does that, you will get, and actually let me just do a test right here. If I was to add, say, this file, it would put it here, but not upload it to your Jupyter Notebook right away. So you would need to click the upload button. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this. So we have a few folders and within them, let's see, we have, um, for example, this rando junk folder. And oh, this is where I keep the section assignments. This is the rubric for us for grading and the R markdown file. So that's not a very good way to organize my information. So I wanna go ahead and change the name of that folder. I'll to go back up, hit this folder, and this goes to the root, the previous parent folder of rando drunk dr junk drawer. I will select that folder, and now I have a couple of options. I can move it, I can delete it, or I can rename it. So I'm gonna rename it section activity one. Go ahead, rename, and it has now changed the name. Everything inside is still the same. So we have uploaded, we have changed names. Let's say we want to add something new. And I highly recommend having a very organized but pretty simple Jupyter Hub. And the reason we go over here and click on a new folder, so we've created this untitled folder. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and give it a name. I'm gonna rename that just like before. And let's call it uh, not untitled. And now I'll go there. And let's add something new. I could have uploaded something, but I could also add a text file. So let me go ahead and do that. Now this is actually a text file that I can go ahead and start typing in whatever I would like. Go back here, that text file is right there. We could change its name. This for me is not useful, so I'm gonna click on it. Leave that. I'm gonna click on it and then actually delete it and that's gonna get rid of it. If I were to go back here, I could also delete this folder. Now keep in mind, you can only delete empty folders. You can't go ahead and delete folders that have files in them. You have to go back down and delete them one by one. Although now lastly, let's say that we want to move something. Well, let's say I will move R into my build five sandbox. So for that, I just type out the name of the path, move it, and there it goes. I can now click here. Thank you so much for watching another help video for Build 5. If you have any questions, please reach out and we're there to help. Have a good one.